Hi folks, it's Pastor Dave Deckard here at Shepherd of the Valley Lutheran with the very first installment of a brand new feature that we're doing every week called Thursday Thoughts. We want to ask how your week is going in light of the gospel we just preached last Sunday, extending it onward for a few days to ask how it really changes and transforms our lives before we move on to a new gospel the next Sunday. Now, last Sunday, we talked about the big concept of forgiveness, and we suggested that probably we need to change our definitions because the old ones don't work for all of us, which begs the question, how do you know? How dare you change something that we've gone on with for years and years? And I can give you two easy ways to figure this out. First of all, if the hairs on the back of your neck are kind of standing up and you're going, this doesn't feel right for me or someone I know, it's time to ask that question. And secondly, just as importantly, you've got to ask, who am I asking for? Now, the church has a bad habit with forgiveness and a hundred other things of saying, if 98% of the people get my message and it's on point, I have done an excellent job. And that 2%, well, not everybody's going to get it every Sunday. Fair enough. That said, it's not surprising how often that 2% is the most vulnerable among us, the most hurt or ostracized among us. And the church has a nasty habit of catering to the 98% and leaving out the people who are most in need. That's exactly what happens with forgiveness. We are more than willing to tell everybody around us, you must forgive, leaving out that the definition doesn't work for the people who have been most hurt. So if you want to know how to read scripture, talk about scripture, listen to scripture, follow this easy advice. Ask who is the most vulnerable and the most affected person in the room by that scripture. And if your definition doesn't work for them, it doesn't work for anybody, even if that anybody includes everybody else in the room. You gotta change it because it's no good catering to the 98% at the expense of the two. That's our thought for this Thursday. You can apply that to any and every day as you read God's word and share it with each other. We'll see you again next week with another sermon.